Hey guys, welcome back. Let's talk about iPad Pro 12.9. On this end, I have the 2018 model, and on this end, I have 2021 model. Now, there is a talk going around on the social media, some reviewers on the forums saying that, hey, if you got 2018 or the 2020 model, stay with it. But I would say it depends on what your need is. For example, if you're looking at anything entertainment related, such as watching movies, playing games, YouTube, editing photos on any of those apps that the Apple Store offers, 2021 is definitely a go, just because the display is so much richer. Now, if you're looking for something on the go, type up documents, surfing the web, responding to the emails, shopping, things like that, then you know what, save yourself a few bucks, I don't know, two, three, four hundred dollars, I don't know the difference between both those two. Get yourself 2018 and 2021 model. But 2021, like I said, if you wanna watch movies with rich colors, definitely go with the 2020. This is my experience. And I've had the 2018 model since it first came out. I generally get a, a new one whenever there's one released. But I decided to skip 2020 because there wasn't much of a change for me that I, I looked at. Sure, it had a little faster chip and had different cameras and then LiDAR. But I'm not planning to go around with my iPad camera and take pictures. And the 2018 chip is fast enough already. Now there's a big difference when it comes to 2021 model. The issue is it's still iPad OS. So the experience is pretty much gonna be the same on the both ends. iPad OS is very limited. It offers basic things. So if you're looking at just those two, save yourself money. Now, if you're looking to get the best out of it, 2021 is the one to go to. For example, Right now, you're looking at both displays. This is an iPad, um, the YouTube video that's in pause right now. This one looks great, even though it's supposed to be black. On this end, it looks like it's not even displays off, but it's not, it's on. Same glass here. So you could already see how black this looks and how gray the black looks. Now, if you're looking into getting a tablet, but you're not sure whether you should go with an Android or an iPad, that's a different subject. And I plan to compare that to meaning I have the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus 5G and AMOLED display is still better, but Apple definitely came close with the mini LED. Simply speaking, if you look at this white dot, you could see the white around it. It's because it's using 10,000 LEDs versus an OLED, which uses an individual pixel that lights up that specific image. But that's on another topic. And like I said, I plan to do a video comparing those two. Um, by the way, this is Magic Keyboard from last year. And there's a lot of, I would say what? People saying, oh, if you have the, the old one, it's not gonna fit properly. You need to buy a new one. Incorrect. Perfect fit, no issues whatsoever. And this is the Bridge Pro Plus, which when it came out last year, it had no multitasking, but it does now. They fixed that. Um, but if you're looking to get into keyboard, the flexibility of this to bend backwards, this offers more flexibility. But natively, the Magic Keyboard works a lot better than this one. Because a lot of times this keyboard falls asleep and you have to click on the keyboard in order for you to use the mouse because mouse because it falls asleep to track better. Anyway, going back to this too, displays. Like I said, this is a paused YouTube video and I'm gonna play both of them right now so you can see the difference. The quality of display is set at 2160p 60 frames per second, HDR. Let's see this one, exactly same thing. So I'm gonna play both side by side so you could see an actual difference of the picture quality. 
By the way, I'm playing Magic Fluid HDR video so you can see the difference. All right, let's go. Like you could already see how much richer. It's definitely better in person. A video will never show you exactly what I see, but you could see how gray this looks and how black this looks. You could see the ghosting and so much more on this display. All right. So as far as the display quality, um, I would say the 2021 definitely wins. I'm not going to play any games. I'm sure there's reviewers out there who are already doing that. So if you want to watch to see what the experience is, I would say it's, a, it's the same on both. You're just looking at the display quality. Now, speaking of battery. 2021 definitely wins. This is my biggest issue with this from the beginning. It did not give me a long battery from beginning. And then when the Magic Keyboard came out for this one, uh, for the 2018, I was getting like two hours of most battery life from this iPad. I know the usage is different for everyone, but for me, this was horrible. Like I even stopped using iPad for a while because it was pointless. Now 2021, like for example, I go to the gym for about two hours and the entire time, I'm, you know, I like to do cardio for about two hours. So I'm there watching movies. I go in there with the battery life at about 100%. After two hours of watching movies, I'm down to like 89%. So the battery is definitely better in 2021. Yes, take it for the fact that it's a brand new iPad and you expect to see better battery longevity but like I said when this came out the 2018 model I had issues from the battery right away meaning I wasn't getting an extreme short battery lifespan on this tablet it was better and obviously within what um, since it came out the longevity of the battery drastically decreased but again comparing to when it came out to the usage that I have to the usage that I have with this one I'm already seeing the difference between those two models it's given me a lot better better usage on 2021 how is it gonna be two three years from now on honestly speaking I won't know because I won't have this iPad I'm sure I'm gonna have the next year's model when it comes out hopefully it won't bring slight changes like the 2018 2020 did but so if you're looking at those things hopefully this video does give you some explanation for you to make a decision um speakers are pretty much the same on both i don't really hear a difference um let's say the keyboard works on both um if you're looking at flexibility of having keyboard where for example you could make it it makes you look like you're having you know a mac in a go and you can use this keyboard too um again like i said this is the 2018 model you know i'm a, I'm, I'm i would say if i had to compare ipad has been always the best for me as far as usage if you need something that requires like an advanced software that a computer is run, then iPad would definitely not be for you. But then again, I think, in my opinion, the world is so becoming mobile that a lot of things are transitioning for you to be able to use it on, on the go. As far as if you're looking like Final Cut, I know people are looking at, and that's not something I use. I don't know when it's gonna be available, if it's gonna be available, and if it's a must for you, then computer is the only solution but if you're looking like for example for me watching movies playing games I don't really read on this I have um, Galaxy Z Fold 2 for reading um, 
it's mostly it's the movies. I would say the 2021 is definitely a go. So if you have any further questions, you know, ask me. I'm not going to be using, I'm not going to compare Center Stage. There's videos of that. Um, I believe Facebook Hub. I forgot what the name of it. It was the first one that came out with it. Or was it the Google Smart? I'm not really sure. The speaker, one of those. Anyway, any questions, ask below. Hopefully, I answered some of the questions that you had. I'm enjoying this purchase. Yes, it's more expensive, so do take that in consideration. Again, if you need to have this, not want, if you need to have the 2021 model, go for it. If you need for basic things, go for this one. For me, it's not about need, it's about a want, so I went for 2021 model. All right, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, post below.